yes class 10 today we are going to discuss the sample paper uh, the screen is shared with you now you are able to see that here the comprehension is given for example india is a welfare state with constitutional mandate and democratic obligation to ensure and inclusion of all its citizens with special focus on the vulnerable disadvantaged and under sections of the society so in this manner this comprehension is given you will read it and solve these five questions okay so that you can have an idea if you will have any problem in any of the sample paper you will discuss it with me right so now next we are coming up to section b that is grammar and writing now here attempt any five of the following although here it is given that you have to attempt any five of the following but remember that in your school exam you won't get any choice right 50 questions will be there you have to attempt those 50 only no choice will be there and later on <laughs> it will be converted to 40 okay so here it is attempt any five of the following it is date in format letter is not written as how date is not written as yes which is the right answer yes students you can speak it is b option right very good it is b option the date cannot be written in this format so whenever if you are writing a date in this format it is ultimately considered as wrong so the next question is question number 24 which of the following solution is generally used mr editor mrs editor sir madam respected sir madam sir madam simple you are using next one is which of these is correct yours truly yours truly or t r u e l y or you your apostrophe s so which is the right option here yes it is b option yes uh, online students you can also unmute yourselves to give the answers raise up your hand so that i can unmute you anshika unmute yourself as well as where yes ma'am uh, i'll keep unmuted and uh, you can give the answers yes bhumika also tripti also tripti is also a very good student always regular in work okay so let us discuss now yes in a letter of complaint the writer's tone should be what should be the writer's tone it should be polite it should be rude it should be impolite and polite but firm polite but, but firm right it will be the answer that is polite but firm it means that we should be polite in delivering our anger also and de delivering our grievances also but firm that we are sticking to the point if it is a complaint we are sticking to that okay so next coming on to the next image now you are able to see anshika yes ma'am yes next is which should be the opening line while making a business complaint so what should be the opening line while making a business complaint so how you will write down a business complaint first is we were shocked to receive refer to our order how could you be so careless as and kindly refer to our order hmm we were shocked to receive no refer to our order no how could you be firm no and kindly refer to our order because you will be polite but firm okay as we have written so here is the politeness used along with firmness that you are going to give up or you are going to file a complaint next the complimentary clause in a business letter should not be like what you should not like yours sincerely yours faithfully yours obediently yours truly yes what can be the answer online students yes what you can write down ma'am b option yours yours obedient right yours obediently okay because it is mainly used for authorities when you are writing an application to the principal or in any case it is used right so i hope that you have got an idea that what type of questions you are going to get for writing skills next coming up to grammar choose the correct option to fill in the blanks to complete the following conversation how you yes it is 
make your morning prayer so soulful that it dash remain with you until the evening what will be the answer yes shall should can will may it will okay it will remain with you till the evening yes uh, until the evening close the day with prayer so that you dash have a peaceful night from the from dreams and nightmares you may have okay you may have do not worry about the form of prayer let it be in any form it dash be such as may put us into communion with the divine it let it be in any form it yes it should be such as okay it can be anything so ought to should and ought to should is used for where there is obligation okay but when there some moral duty is involved for example respect your parents what it is it is moral duty so there we are using ought to obey traffic rules one should obey traffic rules it is our duty obligation so this there we are using should this is the difference between should and ought to but many a time some are saying that should and ought to their role is interchangeable but this is the exact difference between them okay yes kanishka you can also unmute yourself raise up your hand kanishka yes unmute yourself to give the answers right next one is next is choose the correct option to fill in the one minute bhumika has raised up the hand i have unmuted you bhumika earlier also now again unmuted bhumika you are unmuted yes ma'am okay fine now give the answers so next is choose the correct option to fill in the blanks to complete the following conversation first is our new servant had a tendency to steal things next sonu is anything missing yes renu yes he has stolen one of our blankets sonu which one it's the one we took from hotel palm beach okay so now for the first option is renu told her husband that their new servant had a tendency to steal things sonu asked her dash now you have to fill if anything was answer. missing was yes. anything missing yes the present, present continuous tense will change into past continuous past next continuous. he said she told him that dash one of their blankets that he had stolen he had, had stolen right that he had stolen one of their blankets and when he sonu had. he had it is he he <coughs> he had stolen so when sonu asked her which one it was she replied that that it was the one they have taken it was the one they <coughs> had taken from hotel palm beach they had taken from hotel palm beach right so in this manner you will do these okay so next afterwards coming up to the next part <coughs> it is given next question is read the extracts given below and attempt any 12 by answering the questions that follow you won't get any choice so we have to do all first is we who were outlaws not so long have today been given the rare privilege to be to be not uh, to free nations of the world on our own soil we thank all of our distinguished international guests for having come to take procession with the people of our country of what is after all a it's a, uh, it's a common victory for justice for peace and for dignity so from which chapter it is taken it is from nelson mandela right so the first question is 
the guests at the spectacular ceremony are being called distinguished because why they are called distinguished they have been invited as guests to attend it they are eminent world leaders witnessing it or they are visiting the <coughs> for this purpose or they have resumed diplomatic relations with the country which option can be the right option yes it is yes it is b option that they are eminent world leaders and witnessing this ceremony for the first time next question is it is a victory for human dignity pick out the option that lists the correct answer to what human dignity includes it means equality liberty or indecency it is liberty indecency or self respect immorality self respect and equality or equality liberty and self respect it is which option b option uh, equality b liberty option. and self respect and liberty and self respect very good equality liberty self and self respect right this is the right answer so in omr sheet you will circle the d option next yes why does the speaker say that it is a new <coughs> rare privilege why rare privilege he says this as they have been deprived of the honor seldom been given this honor experienced it for the first time or been chosen over the countries for this honor experienced experience it for the first time for the first, for the first time. time yes because they have fought a uh, number of years their ancestors they have also fought in this battle and ultimately they have come up with this you can say rare privilege which they were longing for such a long time next afterwards <coughs> uh, my wanda will not come to your school anymore jake also now we move away to big city no more hola pala and no more ask why funny names plenty of funny names in the city it's yours truly jan pentronski who is jan pentronski first of all tell me he was the father of father of father of wanda and these this these lines they are taken from which they are taken from the letter of his of a father which he has written father. to miss mason right so question is Jan's tone in the writing of the letter is not means which is not her letter. It is distressing, spiteful, hurt, painful. Yes, it is. What is the answer, online students? Spiteful. Spiteful. Okay. Spiteful. Yes, little bit insulting. Yes. Next. what according to the letter was the primary reason that prompted mr prince chonsky to take the decision to move to a big city he wished to achieve success in the big city his urge to join his relatives who mostly lived in the big city or his anxiety over their party in the small city or his agony about his children being viewed as outsiders yes bhumika which option b option m d option b option yes it is d yes, option agony about this agony children. about children being viewed as outsider viewed as outsider outside the by the schoolmates very good kanishka so see the next part the dictionary says the following about migration see these kind of analytical base questions you will also have see this question you won't get any relation to any chapter see the question it is migration what first of all the dictionary meaning of migration is given migration involves the movement of people birds fish etc from one place to another with intentions of setting permanently or temporarily at a new location geographic region so now see which of the option incorrect uses migration see they have given the options first is after gold was found in the in uninhabited region there was a migration to that area see which is applying the concept of migration second is bears sleep through winters this migration helps bears to use their stored energy much more slowly 
C option is there was a mass migration of youngsters to the tagged locale to assist the cause for charity. Next one is scientists have studied the migration of fish over long distances in the river, which is incorrectly uses, used. Ma'am, B option. B or D? Ma'am, D. B. Bears sleep, winters. Bee sleep through winters because what bears sleep through winters is it is hibernation, right? It's not migration. It is wrongly yes, used here. Okay. I'm so correct. Correct. Option is D or B. B. B for ball. Next. The way a crow shook down on tree. The dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and, and saved some part of a day I had rude. Rude means spoiled. So now the questions are, of the many symbols, the hemlock tree represents choose the one that frost drew upon in all likelihood for this point. Symbol of its longevity, healing, togetherness, protection. Healing. It is which which one? Yes, online one. C option. Healing. M C option. Healing option. Okay, healing because it has a healing touch. Question is that hemlock tree is used as a symbol for what it is used as what it is symbolic of. It is symbolic having a healing touch, and this is also the theme of the poem. Nature has a healing touch. Next one. Choose the option that lists the possible <laughs> feelings of the poet prior to the experience shared in the poem. It is, choose the option that lists the possible feelings of the poet prior to the experience shared in the poem. It means which experience is shared in the poem? That he has sat under the hemlock tree, some snow fell upon him and he thought, or it has brought a change in his mood. This is given, but before it, what kind of feelings he has? It is of, uh, it is reassured, disappointed, curious, demotivated, thankful, disheartened, impulsive. Very good. So it is second, fourth, because he was disappointed, he was demotivated, as well as he was disheartened. Very good answer, also very good. Next one is identify the option that does not use the word "ru" correctly. Means what is the meaning of "ru"? Spoiled. Now let us see where it is not used in the right manner. See here the trick used by the examiner. In all the questions, he is mostly giving what is not applicable. Not wale hi wo puch raha hai. Okay na? Direct questions are not there. It means when you are reading not, you will read the question twice. Okay. So see here. First one is, the film was a disaster and he reviewed his decisions to act in it. Next, where it is not used. See, hmm? I'm sure she reviewed the day she listened to a fortune teller or it wasn't long before I reviewed my disobedience and my deceit or others finally review the one who is dishonest and heartless. The film was a disaster. He reviewed his decisions. This is right. He, yes, he a option. Which one? A. 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 It is not used yes. here correctly. Yes. It is. I'm like a uh, film was a disaster, and he reared his decision to act in it. Yes, it was a disaster, and he he thought that it won't be a success. So I think others finally view the one who is dishonest and heartless is the right answer. When it won't be a success. Nay, he reviewed and he reviewed his decisions to act in it. Actually, he spoiled. According to you, you are saying that he has changed his decisions. Okay, you are thinking in this one. So let us see. Okay. So, coming up to the next one. Yes. Ma'am, what's the correct answer? Uh, you can pick, pick A. Otherwise, I will see for it also. 
okay okay ma'am next one i was really oh uh, sorry i was really worried about tricky the time i had pulled up my car when i was it is i am not able to read his mistress and i was i was shocked at his appearance he no, had come his appearance hugely fat like a it is bloated sausage i think so with the leg at each corner his eyes red short and rheumy and stayed straight started and stayed straight okay and uh, and his you can say tongue lolled out of his jaws so tricky wanted to be so sorry tricky seemed to be he was healthy unhealthy he is lean and weak or aggressive what was what is the right option ma'am second option lean and weak no he has turned out to be fat he was uh, unhealthy he was unhealthy unhealthy he was this is the right answer next the literary device used in the line he had become hugely fat corners dash whatever it is it is metaphor simile it is personification or i <laughs> He, what it is used here? He has turned hugely fat, like a bloated sausage. Like is used, so it is simile also. Ma'am, simile. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am, simile. Simile. Personification. No, what is personification? It is like giving human-like qualities. Here, nothing human-like qualities given. Sausage is again. It is comparison. Like a bloated sausage. Like is used naturally. It is simile. Next one. Where did the narrator see Tricky? In the lawn, in the car, in the street, or in the mall? And C option in the street. In the street. In the street. In the street. Okay. Next is two boys stared in surprise at the freshly at the fresh muddy imprints of a pair of bare feet. Please, we will complete only this question, and. Who was it? Who was a barefooted man doing on the steps of a house in the middle of London? And where? And where is what it is? Where he is from? And he is the remarkable sight met their eyes. A fresh footmark appeared from nowhere. Further footprints followed one after another, descending the steps and progressing down the street. The boys followed, fascinated, until the muddy impressions became fainter and fainter. And finally, it dis disappeared altogether. So, see, <laughs> why were the boys surprised to see the barefooted man in London? The boys were surprised. It was an unusual sight to see someone this way. Everybody in London moved around in shoes. It was pretty cold to move around bare feet, or only a person who is homeless and wandering does so. C option, right? C option. It Next was is pretty cold to move around bare feet. Right. Pick out the option that is not related to started used in the extract. What is not started? It is flinched, jerked, recoiled, pointed. 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 Next, pick the option that best describe how the boys are feeling based on the extract. Enchanted, curious, and puzzled. They were captivated, curious, and puzzled. Repulsed, curious, and captivated. Enchanted. Repulsed and curious. It is the right. Enchanted, repulsed, and curious. D yes. option. Enchanted, repulsed. How they were repulsed? They were not filled with any. Rep it is B. It is enchanted, curious, and puzzled. Curiously, they were following, and they were puzzled. Yes. Okay. So this is the right answer. Okay. What is the meaning of enchanted? Enchanted is again something fascinated like that. Okay. okay. So now, as the time for the class is going to be shortly over, so till here we will do. And tomorrow I will discuss the test with you that we had, and one more CBSE sample paper I will bring in the class. I will share in this manner. Okay, that is released by CBSE recently, few days back. You will have the images of that in this manner only, and you will see those, right? And we will discuss it. So it's very important to attend the class tomorrow. So that's all for tomorrow and I hope that you have enjoyed it very well.
and have learned it so now you have also come to know that there are not exactly only the you can say the questions which are direct ones okay so something difficulty level is also maintained you will have these type of questions in exams also so that it won't be directly pick and choose type it will be analytical also it will be you can say think based upon your thinking skills also right so prepare properly do practice with me in the class and that will be better for you so that's all for today and tomorrow we will discuss the cbse sample paper